Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to a new video of mine. As you can see by the title, I'm just going to be taking you guys along with me on a day in my life working here at this hotel. If you guys have any questions or anything that I don't really clarify in this video because this video is just a random day in my life working here. This is not what I do every single day working here. However, this particular day, I gave a tour to some students from a hospitality school here in the Gambia called ITTOG. I did it alongside our head chef here in the hotel, Mr. Khalifa. He is a professor of the students at that school. So he decided to invite them for a tour of this hotel so that they can get an idea of what it's like working in a hotel and, and what sort of goes on behind the scenes of running a hotel. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this day in my life at work went, Please keep on watching. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. Beautiful view. Yes, we do. I'll be looking for 400, 450 people, something like that. But like I said, everything is planning. We have to plan ourselves, and then that's what we call mission plus. We plan ourselves, and we know what to do exactly. So we'll not be in pressure. So we always plan ourselves. So what is the maximum capacity? 100. Usually 100, yeah. Because we don't want to crowd it. It depends on what type of company you want to have. You can have a party. You know, when it's a party, of course, we must have, we must create a dancing space and then the wedding. We must create a wedding table, you know, decoration and all that stuff. But if it is a, like a conference, a big conference, like a classroom setting, you know, you can take up to 120. Beautiful. Beautiful children. <laughs> These are your students from which? ITTOG. ITTOG, which yes. is a... Institute of Travel and Tourism. Mm -hmm. Like a hospitality, hospitality school. Okay. Chef Khalifa. Okay, ready? Everybody say ITTOG. ITTOG. Mm? Uh, how can you convince your customer? Come in, come. Every day we must have about 150 people. Remember six months times 30 days, every day we have to come with something new. Not like actually changing, because if we have the same thing every day, they will think that it's the same thing we are giving them. So every day we must come, we must Come with something new, something developed, something appetizing, something with the customers will always love. So this is where we do the administration. The environment here, we do the chat, and this is the one that the guys in me. So when I'm leaving, this is the but I give him a lot of stress. Sometimes I'll call him six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so this is where we do the work. Our job is not easy, it's 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 a lot of stress, a lot of pain. You can see there are only few of them, but they have to look at 150 people. And by 12 o'clock, they should be ready for the lunch. Where we have the purchasing office. All everything to be purchased in this hotel, this man is the one who is purchasing. So when we request, we give it to this guy, the stores, the store will request, and this man will do the purchase order and then we go from there. Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Carpentry. Carpentry, yeah. We also have the drivers, they are very important. They are the ones who run the Iran of the hotels by yeah. bringing things and other stuff. Yeah. We have the plumber. This is we have the linen, linen. 
So this is where we park and then the laundry guys will come pack everything, send it to laundry, huh? Yeah, well, everything else, huh? The housekeeping department. Hmm? This also is run by housekeeping manager. Housekeeping goes with front office. Hmm? Okay? The, the, the female locker. The male locker. Now we're going to show them one more room. And B block, which is here. <laughs> Just gonna show them this one now. Thank you, Alaji. Uh, yes, from ITTOG, a hospitality school. This is the standard bungalow room. I'm about to show them. Cute, cozy. So, so every day I'll be doing that. That I always do that. Okay. Yeah, we also have a guest questionnaire and this helps us with, um, you know, getting feedback from the guests. If they have any problem, you can have a look. You guys yes. can pass that around. If they have any problem, yes. they will write it here. This they, is the problem yeah. they have. And then, so with that feedback, it helps us know which areas we need to work on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's testing you. 76. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anybody else? <laughs> 70. Anybody else? The winner gets a thousand dollars. For the for the purpose for the purpose of this tour, allow Rikita to go over that one more time and then yeah. really listen, please. Okay. Yes, how many rooms in total do we have here? Two hundred and something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 97, I would say yes, but I would say no. How many operating? How many, how many are... Op how many rooms operating? operating. So, um, <laughs> we have 97, correct, but we're not using all the 97. So, it's important when you come for tour, don't just come and then go around. <laughs> then some knowledge. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> so, um, currently, I have about 87 staffs. I think. Okay. I have about 87 staffs. And one of the largest departments yes. is, of course, the kitchen. Kitchen maintenance are one of the largest departments we have. Any questions for me? Yes, he is our HR, which is human resources. So I think you asked me, a, who was it? One of you asked me a question about um, if a guest commits a crime, what, what is the procedure we do? Okay. Yeah. So um, it depends on the crime. It depends on the crime, number one. And number two, she's in charge for everything relating to guests. Um, so if there's an issue with a guest, of course, they will meet her first. But if she's not around and available, Again, I'm HR plus operation, so mm -hmm. of course they can also meet me. And then we'll sit down, listen to the guests, talk to the guests, find out what exactly the issue is. And if it happens, if it happens that the guest has an issue with somebody else, of course we will investigate and then find out what is the issue before we take actions. Yes. Um, if at all it happens that it's the guest with somebody else from outside, of course, we'll also look at that. So first thing, investigate. It's important. Mm -hmm. So get all information from all, all aspects. information you get don't just add on information if you get an information investigate first um, find out exactly whether the information is correct what and what you need to know before you take actions yeah. and um, another question so we've got different different blocks you see as I said when you come for for expressions ask questions little things that you notice if you don't understand ask you notice that there are different blocks here none of you have bothered to ask <laughs> Have you people, do you people know what SOPs are? Mm. Good job. Hold on. Yes. I say SOP, mm. standard of operation. What's the full meaning? You are, you are, you are it's getting a good there. guess, good guess. It's a good mm. guess anyway, which means you know exactly. Anybody else, what is, what are SOPs? Don't be shy. What are SOPs, SOPs? 
SOPs. Nobody knows? It's important for you to know that standard operational procedures. Mm -hmm. So these are these are different. These are things that guides each department. Like if you go to chef's kitchen, he has his SOPs. These are things that guides him on what to do. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can call them policies. So every department have got policies. So any department you find yourself in, whether reception, whether housekeeping, maintenance, every department has got SOPs. Even with housekeeping, the SOPs will teach you how to clean what needs to be in your this the cart. There's an SOP for this. What means what are the items that need to be there? So if you don't know that, that's your assignment. Hopefully the next time you come, if any of you is coming for internship, I think I know all of you facially now. <laughs> that's the first thing I'll ask you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? So study that. SOPs are important. Anywhere you even if you're here, if you find yourself in another hotel, it's important for you to, to know the SOPs. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we can head back to reception. Are you a model? No. You should be a model. Yes. So tall. And you too. So tall. <laughs> she looks like a model. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You can join your house. Yeah, I like it. How many rooms do we have? <laughs> can can um, one of you just summarize what you have learned today? So we know that you have learned something. Anybody? So we know that the chef did not waste his time, yeah. mm -hmm. Nikita did not waste her time. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you have learned so far from being at Sunset. Mm -hmm. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? What have you learned? I think this place is a beautiful and comfortable environment for all the others. And I learned that you have smart and wise and very busy. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. You are so kind. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Y
trip advice, you have yeah. uh, booking.com, Instagram, everywhere they write. So we always try to handle them professionally. Mm -hmm. If we have a complaint, we don't take it and really like, it's exactly. not my fault, no. Exactly. We have to take it like, this is what we have to solve. Because you cannot, I cannot, you cannot shift the blame to other people. Exactly. You know, for us, when we have problems, we solve it maturely, mm -hmm. you know, as a team, as a collective team, and then we inform mm -hmm. one another, and then we solve it maturely. We talk to the guests, we convince them, we talk to them, you know, mm -hmm. we do everything to make sure that you are comfortable. We do have problems. And that's we, very we important. Do, yeah. And I don't know if you guys ever heard the phrase, you know, constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is basically, you take criticism, yeah. and you're taking it with a good heart. It's helping you grow as a person. It's what you need to work on. Yeah. So. I'm sure at your school you may have your professor saying something that you need to correct and you might get a little salty, you might yeah. be a little upset, yeah, but, but I, I'm sure it. your professor just wants you to do well. It's something that he sees in you. Yeah. You have the potential to do yeah. better. You just take it with a good heart and you say, yeah, this yeah. is an area I need to work on. And that's exactly what we do when we what get we bad feedback. We just I see have, it's I an area I we have, need to work I on. I have two of their students. There is one of them who told me not long ago, he was after three years, he told that guy, uh, I was upset with the guy because I want her to fix something. That's the lady you find inside. Uh, she was my student to fix something. And then she was, she is not ready, but I insist that you have to do it. And then she said she is going to, I said, I don't care, you can leave. So the other guy called and said, Chef, like somebody who is doing well, because he sees potential in me. And I am the one who employed her. Exactly. <laughs> but we have a lot of issues on the way. But what I was trying, she have come to that. So I have confidence in her. I I am fine with her. I am okay because I want her to do something. Finish. So correct. I don't hate you. I just want you to correct certain things and we move on. Don't be stubborn. Don't, and don't be of, stubborn. Of advice also, um, you're all growing. If you are Tanga Hall, <laughs> does it go? If you are Tanga Hall. Stubborn. If you're hot tempered. <laughs> I'm saying it Tanga Hall so that you understand. If you're, yeah. if you're Tanga Hall, trust me, it's going to be very difficult for you to walk in the hotel industry. Yeah. In life in general. It's going to be difficult. In life in so general. These are things you have to you have to adjust. Especially those of you who want to work um, in fact, all departments, basically. All departments. You can, like, she asks a question. Do they complain about food? You can prepare the best food. I guess we can laugh more. <laughs> for no reason. Are you you have to ask angry? why. Are you get angry? Why? Just see how can I make it better make for it you. Better. Yeah, make just it how. Better. Find resolutions is the most important thing you can do in hospitality. You had a question. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, no. um, so how do you deal with different kind of customers? Like you know, we have the all age group that comes, like the tourists, and then we have the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, what programs do you like, perhaps, um, engage them in? Mm -hmm. okay. Um. So. We have got um, our entertainment department, mm -hmm. so of course, um, when guests are coming, we know ahead of time. We, we know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. We know their age, um, their demographic, like where they're coming from. Where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. If they are okay, sometimes they might be physically challenged. Mm -hmm. So we know all this information, and then based on that, of course, we have programs. Um, like for example, you cannot see someone who is 80 years old, and then you want them to go and play football. <laughs> So we have different things, and of course she's here. Um, every single day she goes around, talks to the guests, asks them um, how are they enjoying their stay. If there's any issues, of course they will talk to her. Um, if there's anything that they like, of course um, they will communicate that with her, and then she will see as best as possible to see how um, that is done. So we try our level best anyway, but we cannot do it 100%. But we, mm -hmm. we try. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and then as a chef, also what we also do is that we look at the cheats. We have cheats in the house. Do we have to provide something which the cheese does in life? We don't. We have to make sure we write a proper menu where the cheese can also enjoy. Mm -hmm. The grown-up people can also enjoy. And most of the vegetarian can enjoy. Some of the guests will even make requests in advance that I don't eat this, I am not this, I am not this. Some of the guests, when they come, they come with their special demands. We have to make sure we get it within the house to make sure that their demands are met. So this is some part, uh, this is what also one of my my, my programs which I look at projects so that they are satisfied. Because like some of them today, somebody has a bad day, one of the guests. You'll not even know, you'll just come and give them your each. So surprisingly, you'll sit down on your table and then we bring a cake for you. 
will say, oh, the play is so bad. And everybody will sing for you. Mm. You see, you'll be very happy. And marriage anniversary, you don't even know it's happening. You don't even know. Mm. Like me, I forget. Sometimes maybe I'll forget my birthday. But somebody <laughs> comes surprisingly and give me some. Oh, today is special. Yeah. What is this? I, you'll be overwhelmed. You'll be happy. So that's what we also do for the girl. Mm. You'll communicate with her. And then she will come. We have a father request because today is this guy, this room, so and so. You know, even the family, the wife, maybe will not even know that today is my husband's birthday. Yeah. He just sit on the table and give you. <laughs> so yes. that's all part of entertainment, you know, to make sure you are happy. Hmm? Any other questions? Any other ones? Um, we've got different types. Um, like, I think you went to the apartments. Yes, in the standard room. And in the standard room, so. Mm -hmm. um, we have 14 currently. She's asking how many... Housekeepers. Okay, not cleaners, no. We don't call them cleaners. <laughs> we call them housekeepers. Or room attendants. So we have 14. And from this 14 also, we've got some that are specifically for the rooms. And we have some that are for public area. We have one for public area, I think. He is uh, yes, somewhere around. How many? 15. We call them FNB staffs because we, we have waiters, we have bartenders. Mm -hmm. So they are also we call them FNB staffs. So that's 15 we have. Mm -hmm. Do you have these people customers here? Currently, right now, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. we do have them. That's the reason why if you check mm -hmm. when you're coming in, we created a pathway for them. Yes, yeah, some will so come with wheelchairs. Come with wheelchairs. So Even a scooter. I think last, last week we had, we had a scooter. She was in a scooter. And then our rooms also, if you check the way our rooms are, for example, if, if you're coming and then of course you have a little disability, you inform us. We don't have to put you upstairs. Of course, we have the bungalows that you can easily go to. Yeah. And that's very important as well. Sometimes disabled means many different things. You don't have to be in a wheelchair to be disabled. Yes, you can be yes. mentally disabled. Yes. So sometimes when you're speaking with a guest and you see they're a little bit off, of course, you have to be real, you have to know how to approach that guest. If they're getting mad at anything, you just have to know. Okay, this guest, of course, is not okay. Um, so you just have to know how to, you know, approach the guest. That's very important. Thank so, you. Yes. I have another question about the internship. Yes. Can you still uh, go to internship and go to school at the same time? <laughs> I would say no because um, for you to go, for you to come for an um, internship, it has to come from the school. So the school, of course, will give, um, will send um, a written letter to the hotel, stating that we want X Y Z to come um, for internship for X Y Z period of time. Um, but after the training is done, it's up to the head of department to recommend whether, let's say, if it's you, you're with um, chef, um, and you're here for three months. So after the three months, of course, chef is going to give us feedback. Of course, your logbook. There's a logbook that will be given. That logbook has to be filled. And then based on that, his recommendation, if he feels you are a good addition to the team, and if there's vacancy, of course, we'll add you there. Yes. That's how we do it. Because this is why we will not look at, we will look at your lateness, mm -hmm. how you handle, how you, how you dress, with the team, how you carry your yourself. Dressing, because how you, you, you manage the team. Are you somebody who get upset easily? We look into all those ones. And if we feel that this guy is not very good team player, doesn't fit in the team because he get angry easily, he can fight, can do these things. So these are some of the people we know, uh, we'll say no, we will not recommend. Because we don't want somebody to come in and then become in a nuisance to the team. You know, we want walking, somebody walking to in the kitchen. Team. The kitchen already is hot. It's hot. <laughs> so we think in the kitchen and then you want to be hot tempered also. It doesn't it's, go. It, does, it, doesn't go. it doesn't go. Because normally when the tourists or the guests come, they would like to go to some places like maybe perhaps historical place. But if the team perhaps has a tour guide, that will help mm. them. Good, good question. So um, I make it very clear: our staffs are not allowed to be tour guides for any guest. That is prohibited. So this is something for you to know. Wherever you find exactly. yourself, do not take a guest out. Yes, for the sake of oh, I want to take him to Kachikali or I want to take mm -hmm. him to wherever. You're, that's not your job. When you go outside, I'm sure on the right, it's very we, have, we have the bad, bad watchers there. Mm -hmm. And then opposite the hotel also, we've got the taxi drivers. So the bad watchers, of course, that's their thing to take um, guests out. So that's something you have to be careful about. Very important. You can be fired for that. Because if a guest gets hurt or gets sick or something, 
They'll yeah, say, who are you with? And it'll be you. And then they can say anything about you. And we won't know the truth, you know. So it's best to be safe and don't engage with the guests outside of the hotel, you know, just to be safe. A lot of advice. Do not do not have that mentality to say that when my wife gets you good and because the mopuka tuba. Don't have that mentality. That's what that's the mistake I see most young people are doing. You you want to work in the hotel because you want to travel. You want to have that's wrong. You will get into trouble for that. The focus. The reason the reason why you want to be a chef is because you want to provide good services to the customers. Not that you want to travel. That's why you want to become a chef. Or that you want to work in housekeeping because there are clean rooms here, so you might have interaction. No, don't let that be your focus. That's an advice to you. Don't let that be your focus. Yeah. I'm surprised that none of you asked about the reception area. Mm. What was the question? No, she asked how many do, do do we have only two receptionists here, and I said currently yes, but we have we have got a total of seven. Yeah. But I think one of you said she wants to be a receptionist. Do you know the different the different um people we have in the reception area? Where's the receptionist? <laughs> Future receptionist. Future receptionist. <laughs> Nobody else wants to be a receptionist here? Yeah? Yes, exactly. So you come I mean most of the questions I'm getting are from uh, we are sure. getting are from the, the kitchen 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 area. Well, yeah, who who here doesn't want to be a part of kitchen? Oh, everyone here is about a part of kitchen? Exactly. Do you know the different departments or the different areas we have at the at the reception? So in the reception, we have got those two ladies are receptionists. We have got the reservation manager who is at the back. I don't know. Have you guys been to our office? No. We have the reservation manager. Um, we also got the night auditor. All of these are different areas in the reception that is good for you to know. So we have, we have the night auditor. We have the receptionists for morning. We have receptionists for for night. We have the reservation manager and we have the front office manager. For some hotels, you have reservation slash front office. So you're doing the same, the two things um, at once. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have sales and marketing. They handle the event. That handles events. I'm mm -hmm. sure you went to the hall. So there's somebody responsible for all those things. Mm -hmm. So these are questions we need to ask. Mm -hmm. Kitchen people, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. You did very well. You did justice. Good but job. Housekeeping. Um, Reception, what happened? No questions. Mm -hmm. We have pool attendance. We've got pool attendance for that. And then it's on the maintenance department. But we've got um, pool attendance responsible for that. So we've got pool attendance slash lifeguard. Of course, if somebody wants to drown, you need a lifeguard. So all hotels you go to, there must be at least one or two lifeguards. Just something to, to jog your, your mind. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's have a quick picture. Mm -hmm. And we call it a day. 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 So I'm just looking for a birthday cake for my mom. It's her birthday today. But I'm going to see Fall this weekend to spend it with her, of course. Because her birthday is Tuesday, but we're not really doing anything on the Tuesday, so we're doing it this weekend. So let me show you all the cakes that I'm getting. I'm looking at for ideas. Like, look, like you want to do something like I love tying it in with like Valentine's Day because her birthday is the 13th, which is of course the day before Valentine's Day. I know some of her most favorite colors is like red and black, so I definitely, you know, I'm gonna tie them all in together and yeah, just to really show my appreciation. So, I think that's pretty cute. I love pictures, by the way. I was just giving this um, really there just the price of the monkey park so definitely wanted to share that with you guys in case some of you might be coming here it's now 150 galasi to 300 per person for non-resident visitors and people that live here it's um 50 galasi to 100 per person so maybe y'all can just like pause the video have a little look at that just for those of you who are going to be here and like be interested in visiting the monkey park Look at the monkeys drinking water. Oh, they thirsty. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Never seen that before. Alrighty guys, so that concludes this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog, this is not what I do every single day. It's just one of the many things that I do do here, um, which is gift tours. And I just wanted to share it with you guys as the students that visited the hotel were students who were interested in seeing what it's like working in a hotel. And I thought it was very interesting and very insightful. The overall experience was very fun. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see more of on my channel and I'll be sure to do it the best of my ability in one of my next upcoming videos. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Until then, much love. Peace.